We are here on the GoPro Quick app trying to use it, but every time I use it, I get this message right here. And if you looked at this video, most likely you're getting the same message. So what I have done with my other computer is this right here. I have some instructions here that I got off the internet and I looked at a few things on the internet, but it wasn't really kind of clear. So I'm going to try to take you step by step to show you how it's going. Okay. So we need to go into uh, the drive, the user, app data, and local. Okay. So I had no problem when I was doing it on Windows 10, but when I come here to Windows 11 and I go to the drive, let me see, go here to the drive and go to this PC. When I go here, uh, I don't, and go to users. Okay, right here in the users, I don't see where it says app data right here. And the reason that the app data is not showing is because it is a hidden file. Okay, now I'm not a computer person, so, but I do know how to go and make the hidden file show. So let's just go back to the beginning here. If we go here it go uh, press the files button go up here where it has these three dots and press them come right down to the bottom where it says options okay then we go to view and right here in this folders you can see it says hidden files and folders it says don't show the folders and that's highlighted so what you want to do is press show the hidden files and folders and press apply now the files that we're looking for should show up so uh i'm gonna go right here there i am and there's app data and that's the file that we need to go to from app data we'll go to local okay from local we'll come down here to gopro okay we'll go back in up here to gopro whoops sorry Go to music and music. We're going to go right here where it says catalog info file. Now we're going to double click on that. Now your computer is going to ask you how you want to open up this file. And uh, what I'm going to do is just go right here to press more. And I'm going to open it up with the notepad because you're going to need to go in there and change uh, some of the script so it'll know what to do. Okay. So we come over here. We got the notepad open. And we're looking now right here where it has this effective date mine has 2016-02-19-19 too okay and don't make the same mistake i did i stopped i did it the first time and i just stopped right there i changed that date but there is a lot of dates as you can see going down now you can go in here manually and press this and and, and change the date and what i changed this date to the 2016 I changed that to 2018 so the easiest way to go in there and change them all at one time go into your edit mode go into replace okay and I want to replace 2016 and I'm going to replace that with 2018 2018 and I'm going to press replace all now as we go in there and look 2018 effective date is the 2018 and it has gone down and it's changed all of them now next thing i did was it said uh expiratory date so i guess that's the date it was going to expire i'm going to change this date from 2021 to 2029 so 2021 i want to change all the 2021s to 2029 Okay, replace all. Now, effective date is 18. Is I guess it'll uh, be replaced on the 29th, okay? Uh, the 29th year. So we're good for that. Now, I'm going to go out of this. It's going to ask me, do I want to save? Yes, I want to save it. Now, the next thing we want to do is... We're going to go up out of here and we're going to go into the database and the database. When we come down, we want to move this right here where it says music service. We want to delete that. So 
put on it right click it right click on it and press delete okay there's my delete I want to delete that oh it says the action can be complete because it's open so I'll go down here and I will close the quick app okay try it again okay so it went in there and it did that but you know something I was looking because when I did mine I still had another one somewhere so let me see it was a database I'm just check all the folders to make sure I don't see anything else that has uh, music on it exports no GoPro don't no. and I'm just checking all the folders double check because uh, like I said, when I did it, uh, it didn't work the first time because that was on there. So it looked like hopefully that all that is done. All that is done. And also when I went back, I had to turn my computer off and turn it back on before I could get it to work. So we'll see if it's going to work on this computer. Oh, just right. My son has a much better computer than I have. Didn't have to reset it. Okay, so we're going to go over here, create again, and let's just double click on it. And now we can see that the timeline is working. So make sure that you, uh, that you, you know, you go in and just, if you do it step by step, if you need to just stop the, uh, the, the video and just make sure you do it exactly like that. And it should work. Thank you, and uh, thank you for checking out my son's channel.